Hey there, it's Birdie here. Welcome, little artists. I am here to paint along with you for our November uh, door hanger uh, kit. So, welcome. I'm so glad you're joining me to paint today. Painting is my favorite, and I hope you have fun with your door hanger as well. So if you're new, we do have a couple new members this month, so welcome. Uh, if you're new, make sure to go watch the uh, starter kit and brush care video. It's in, uh, there's a link in the uh, kit. You can scan the code and go watch that. It's really important that we take care of our brushes and know about everything in your kit. So hit pause. Go watch that and then come back to me. I will wait for you. Okay, so who's ready to paint? Um, I love painting. Um, so four things that I want to do before we start painting. And that is we want to make sure that we have a table uh, cloth down to cover the table and protect the table because painting can be messy and that's the fun of it. Uh, we want to make sure that we're wearing old paint clothes, so an apron or old paint clothes, make sure that you have those on. Um, and so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is we want to have an old jar or an old cup filled with water so that we can rinse our brushes as we go and keep our brushes clean. Um, the third thing is uh, we need to have three or the third thing is, is we need to have some sort of rag to clean up our brushes and squeeze out that extra water um, or old, um, some paper towels or something like that. Just something uh, to help clean up. And then the fourth thing is, is we need to start our art uh, painting with a positive mindset. So we're going to do a artist pledge and everyone's art is unique and so it's important that we know that and your art is going to com look completely different than mine and everybody else's who is getting a little joy box and that is the beauty of art is that everyone's different so uh, we're going to start by saying uh repeat after me i am one of a kind i make art like nobody else and I am proud of my art. Great. Awesome. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to change this over to the overhead camera. Just a second. All right. So here I have, um, I've already painted one. And so I'm going to paint uh, my turkey uh, similar to this. Uh, but you are welcome to paint your turkey however you want. So let's get out our brushes. You have a couple different brushes in your kit. You've got a large, um, which we don't really necessarily need for this one, but you're welcome to use it. Um, you should have a kind of a larger flat brush like this. And this is going to be our main brush that we use today. Um, you've got a smaller flat brush for smaller detail areas and then you should also have a detail brush and that's this little baby brush here with a little bit of brush bristles and this makes really tiny uh, brush strokes and uh, really helps get into some detail areas okay all right so here's my paint pack I'm just going to paint right out of my cups. Make sure to open them carefully so that we don't spill paint. But I'm going to just open up all my paint cups right now. So I have easy access to those. And so you also get a tray in your kit. And so you can move these paints. This is a tray here. But you also have the other tray that comes in your starter kit that you can use. So you can use this as well. So either tray. This one you can throw away after you're done. This one you'll want to wash and keep for the next time. This one's great for mixing small amounts of paint if you're trying to get a specific color. 
um, and you just want to experiment with mixing paints. Now with these colors here, if you mix um, the brown and white, you're going to get a lighter color brown. You can mix the green and yellow for a more lime green color. Um, you can mix the white and black for a gray. And then if you mix the orange and yellow, you're going to get a lighter orange. So it's a more bright yellowy orange. And you can also mix the orange with brown and get a darker orange. So a lot of different ways that you can mix your paint. Um, but I'm going to just go with what I have. Feel free to do whatever you want with your box. So I'm going to start with the brown. And I'm going to just paint my turkey body. Now these wood door hangers have the marks that are scored in. So we can paint right over his beak and his eyes. And I'll still be able to see those even after I paint right over those. So we're just taking care and going slow, taking our time and enjoying just painting um, this cute little turkey for Thanksgiving. I'm just painting the body of the turkey, the dark brown, and I'm using my larger flat brush so that I can get the paint on fairly quickly and um, use big bold brush strokes here. The other thing when you're painting is, is you want to make sure that you get enough paint on your brush. A lot of times we don't get enough paint on our brush and it makes it hard to push that paint around. Okay, so if I hold it up, you can still see because of those special score marks in the wood, you can still see his beak and eyes. So I was able to paint right over those and once this dries, once the brown dries, I'll be able to come in and fill in his beak with yellow and his eyes. I'll still be able to see those. So don't feel like you have to um, worry about painting around those. Although you can if you want as well. All right, so I did my brush clean. I'm uh, squeezing out the water. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a pattern around with his feathers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven feathers. I'm going to do green, orange, yellow, green, orange, yellow, and then end with green. So I'm going to start with green. And just fill in these little feathers here. So you kind of have to determine where that this line is. There's not the score mark there. Um, you can just take your brush, start it at the turkey, and bring it straight out, and that can give you your line where those two feathers are going to um, change colors. Okay, so there's one. And then we're going to rotate our turkey and do this one. So I'm doing green, orange, yellow, and then this top one is gonna be green. So it's uh, really helpful if you move your art to uh, make sure that you're not dragging your hand through any wet paint. So go ahead and feel free to kind of rotate your turkey around so that you can easily get to the areas that you wanna paint. Okay, there we go. I'm going to rotate it again. So we have orange, yellow, and then this last one is going to be green. So 
So November, the month of November, um, has a couple different holidays in it. It has Thanksgiving, which we all know. It's where we gather with family and friends. We have uh, big family dinners or maybe small family dinners. And then it also has uh, Veterans Day where we celebrate the veterans. Uh, what else is in uh, November? We have, it's not necessarily a holiday, but uh, some big shopping days for Christmas are in November. And actually my birthday is in November. So it's kind of a special month for me. So when you're working in small areas with paint, sometimes holding your brush different can really make a difference in how your brush stroke is going. So for instance, this brush has a flat surface, so it's flat this way. And if I push down and pull, you'll notice I get a nice thick line. Now if I hold my brush upright like this, and don't push down too hard, but pull, you'll notice that I get a nice thin line. So practice different ways of holding your brush and how your brush strokes are going to work. And then once you get that practice in, you'll know exactly how to put your paint on your surface and get nice straight lines if that's what you're after or different types of lines with your brush. Okay, all right, so let's get our yellow. We're gonna clean, swish, swish, tap, tap. I'm gonna squeeze that water out, and we're gonna go into the yellow that I have here. I'm gonna rotate my turkey so my feather's close to me which makes it easier to paint. Okay, and we got one more feather here. All right, so the next step then is I'm gonna paint his hat black. I'm gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna come in here and paint the hat. So who loves turkey dinner? I am looking forward to having turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy. Thanksgiving is also a big football day, so a lot of families gather to eat and watch football. Okay, so I painted the top of the hat and now I'm going to paint the bottom of the hat. And I'm still just using my flat brush, but if you want to change your brush to use the 
smaller detail brush to get into these little crevices and areas, then absolutely use whatever brush you feel comfortable using. And there we go. We're seeing the turkey come to life. All right, so let's paint the turkey's hat band. I'm going to paint the band orange. So I'm going to just go and put this stripe right here in orange. I'm being careful not to touch the edges. So I don't want any black in there and my paint is still fairly wet. If you want to paint in different, um, if your paint is still super wet, you can pause the video, let your paint dry, and then come back and paint the band uh, in a little bit as well. If you get a little black in your band, that's okay too. Again, we just want to let it dry and then we'll come in and uh, paint over it. So there's really no mistakes in painting. That's the beauty of it. We can always just let it dry and then uh, come in with a new color and paint right over it. So there's lots of different ways to fix our paintings. Okay, I'm going to go and switch to my liner brush. That's my baby brush. And I'm going to paint the buckle on his hat. And that's that rectangle that's uh, around the band there. And I'm going to paint that yellow. Okay. I'll wash my brush. And then I'm going to paint his beak. So I'm going to go and grab the orange. And using the liner brush fill in his little beak with orange. Look at how cute he is. So all we need is some eyes and then we can add some patterns to his feathers. So I'm going to wash my brush again, I'm going to go grab some black, and I'm going to fill in these little dots with black here for his eyes. Okay, see his little bitty eyes. Okay, I'm just going to touch up this one area up here. All right. All right, so the next step is to add some patterns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put polka dots on all of my feathers and I'm gonna use just white and you can use different colors on each feather and kind of mix it up. But I'm gonna just use white for mine. And a cool trick for putting polka dots is using the back of your brush. So you have your large flat, that's this guy here. I'm going to use the back of this, the back of the uh, brush handle to use polka dots. So I'm going to dip it in my white paint and I'm going to just start tapping on my turkey. So look at that, how great those little polka dots are. Okay, so we're just going to go around and keep tapping so a little dip into the white paint and then a tap on your turkey
and you can do any color polka dots you want or you don't even have to do polka dots you could do stripes or you could just leave them a solid color you could do little hearts you could do stars whatever you want to do and you can mix it up maybe one feather has stripes maybe one feather has polka dots you could do zigzags and just have fun adding different patterns to your feathers all of these fun polka dots Okay, we are almost done my last polka dot so once you're done making polka dots it's important to wash the back of your brush as well so swish it around in your water and then we're going to take our rag and get the rest of that paint off so it's nice and clean for the next time so there we are guys there is our turkey door hanger I hope you enjoy painting your turkey. I hope you hang it up somewhere and be proud of the art that you've done. Uh, you do have a piece of string in your kit. So you can use that to string it through the little hole on the top and tie a knot and then hang it on your uh, command strip that you got with your, or your command hook, excuse me, that you got with your kit. So there we go all finished have fun with your turkey enjoy and we will visit with you the next tutorial bye guys